What's up, YouTube? Brandon here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm a huge collector of many things. Um, I love anything that reminds me of my childhood, really. Um, retro video games, vintage toys, um, vinyl, like albums. Um, but as you can see behind me, one of my big uh, collections is uh, Funko Pops. Now, I started collecting Pops back in 2012. I had a really nice big collection going. We lived in an apartment then. Unfortunately, due to uh, a move and some financial obligations, I had to sell off the majority of my original collection, which is really disappointing because I had a lot of pieces that I'll likely never have again. Um, since getting rid of them, their values have just skyrocketed, and for me to get them again would uh, cost a lot of money. So... A few years back, uh, I restarted collecting. I still had a few originals left over, my favorite ones. Um, we're now in a house, and I'm slowly growing my collection again. So today I just wanted to come at you guys and uh, share with you my current collection. Now before I go ahead and show off uh, the pieces that I have, I collect Disney. Nickelodeon, um, and random TV show and movie pops, like like I said, again, um, the pops I collect mainly are things that remind me of my childhood. Um, it just brings you to a better place and uh, just makes you happy remembering all the good times and memories of childhood. So, and then another, uh, I like Christmas pops as well. So holiday pops, movies, TV, Nickelodeon, Disney, so... Uh, here we go. Disney. This is the uh, original Oogie Boogie plush from Nightmare Before Christmas. He came out in 2012. And then we just have all sorts of exclusives and chases and SDCC pieces. These are, these are the new uh, flocked Lion King pieces. Some of the older Lion King. I've slowly been trying to work on getting some of the older pieces, which is, it's difficult because they go up in value so quick nowadays, and the rarities were much, uh, much harder to get back then. Um, for instance, chases were one out of 36, and now they're one out of every six, so, like I said, they're much harder to come across, especially for a good price. We have some randoms in here. This is the, this year's, uh... This is the first exclusive Michaels did. It's the Holiday Wonder Woman. We got the Joe Montana, which I believe was discontinued. Little Christmas uh, custom Batman I did. I love these. The Flocked Grinch and Flocked Max from this year. The new Buddy the Elf. This is a custom Walking Dead uh, comic book uh, Rick that I made. Blood Splatter. It's pretty cool. This is one of my original pieces. This is the Bloody Glen for Man of Action figures. Uh, he's one of 1,500. I love the new Home Alone pieces. One of my favorite Christmas movies. I'm just missing Harry. Saved by the Bell, one of my all-time favorite shows. Um, so I had to buy that whole set. I found it on sale at Barnes & Noble. Got them for like four bucks a piece. I'm a huge Jets fan. My buddy got me Joe Namath for Christmas. Mr. Monopoly. Labyrinth, incredible movie. We got Ross from Friends with the little Marcel monkey. I need to get that. the rest of that set. That's a set that I missed, so I'm slowly trying to get that. We got this uh, Ricochet Rabbit, Hanna-Barbera cartoon character. He's one of 300. Ah, the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown characters are awesome. I'm glad I uh, my buddy traded me the Charlie and then a friend on a Funko... Facebook group traded me Lucy. Then we go back to some Disney. These are some older guys. The Syndrome's really picking up steam. I think he's about a hundred plus dollars now to get. This is one of my favorite new pieces. Zero, the glow in the dark chase. The Disney Parks exclusives are pretty awesome. I love Figment. If you remember, if you've ever been to Disney World and go on the, the big... Uh, Golf ball looking ride in Epcot. You'll be familiar with Figment. These new Disney uh, Diamond Collection pops are pretty awesome. 
Um, these are my two favorite ones that have come out so far. I passed on the rest. I'll probably grab Mickey. Not a huge fan of the Ursula. I think she's a little overdone. These Kingdom Hearts are awesome. I love the Halloween theme. Incredible. Uh, we got the new Aladdin exclusives. The Jasmine's actually the uh, Barnes & Noble exclusive, but I ordered online and she came without the sticker. Pretty upset about that. And then we get to some of the Nickelodeon pops. I loved Rocco's Modern Life as a kid. SpongeBob, I'm still working on getting that set, the rest of it. And then we have an old school Looney Tunes flocked Gossamer. Don't mind this, guys. This is just some of my other stuff. <laughs> we got a little Disney shelf. We got a little Pokemon shelf. Sneak peeks and maybe future videos. These are actually pickups from this morning. From Hot Topic, the Xander Chase from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and the Cusco Hot Topic exclusive. And now we're going to get into some of my favorites from childhood. Ninja Turtles was one of my absolute favorites, favorites, <laughs> favorite cartoons, movies. Uh, I'd have to say for movies, the second one, Secret of the Ooze, was my favorite. I was super stoked to get uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. Sorry for the glare, guys, from the window. My other favorite as a childhood was Power Rangers. I'm still working on a number of those for my set. And we get into some more Nickelodeon, which I which I love. It's just what I grew up with, you know? Pinky and the Brain, Scooby-Doo, Flocked. Oh, Musicians are another uh, set I like to collect. I had to get the Hendrix, the Reggae Rasta, which is supposed to resemble Bob Marley, which they weren't able to get the license for. The Elton John is new, came out a couple weeks ago. Breaking Bad was one of my favorite shows. I was pumped to be able to get one of those. I love the uh, serial advertisement characters. Once again, a couple of my favorite movies, Step Brothers and Napoleon Dynamite. The flocked Bob Ross was a must-have. Bob Ross was huge when I was younger. This is one of my favorite newer shows, so I had to go ahead and get a bunch of these guys. Uh, Stranger Things. My favorites are probably all the, the boys in their uh, Ghostbusters Halloween costumes, as well as Max in her uh, Mike Myers costume. And the new Dustin with Dart is awesome as well. And of course, the SDCC Steve. And then down here, we have some of my... Uh, oh, the cat wants to make an appearance. Some of my uh, holiday pops. These are some of my older ones, the Santa... The Bumble and Rudolph from that set. He's got to be one of my favorites. Flocked Bunny Suit Ralphie from A Christmas Story. And then my other... <laughs> this is by far one of my favorite Christmas movies. Christmas Vacation. And then these are some of my originals from back in the day as well that I kept. The Heat Miser and Snow Miser. And last but not least over here... Oh, almost forgot about my big Dragon Zord. Like I said, I collect a little bit of everything. There's a... <laughs> Steve Urkel up there, <laughs> but um, then we come over here, look at the lovely wallpaper, we're still remodeling my grandparents' old house, and this is the original, this was my mom's room when she was a kid, so then we have, this is my trade wall, these are either extras, or ones I picked up, um, knowing that they would be of interest to others, and that helps me get ones that I'm interested in, so if you are watching this, and you see anything on this wall, that may interest you, they are, in fact, up for grabs. And there are some really good pieces here. All right, so for now, that's about it for my pop collection. Um, I'm huge with trading, so once again, that the trade wall, if anyone sees anything they're interested in, please comment or shoot me a message. Um, I'd love to trade with others in the collector community. It's all about helping each other out with... Uh, pieces that we might be looking for that you can't get in certain areas or if you missed out on it in stores. And for those of you who stuck around and watched this whole video, I'm going to do a little giveaway. If you saw on my trade wall, I picked up an extra of the holiday 2017. Actually, this wasn't in the store until after the new year. So we'll call it 2018 holiday Wonder Woman from Michaels. This is Michaels arts and craft store it's their first exclusive that they've ever had um from what i understand it was pretty hard to get i know my local michaels only got six of them 
And I don't imagine that they'll be getting any more, seeing as it was a holiday piece, even though it came after the holidays. So, if you would like to win this, you must do a few things. One, be subscribed to my channel. And two, leave a comment on why you'd like to add this piece to your collection. That's it, guys. So, I shouldn't say that's it. One more. Like this video, please. I like to get the word out. Spread it around the collector community. So, to win the Wonder Woman exclusive, like, subscribe, and leave a comment on why you should win that piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back at you soon with a new video.